Hey YouTube, I was sent a request to do an update on QC Makeup Academy and my update is that I have pretty much gone through all the units and completed all the units, what I call the theory part of the units, which means all of the written assignments that I had to do, I did complete those. Um, what I am doing now is trying to get my models I guess together so I can do the makeovers which I have done a couple of them but it's kind of hard to get people together and then have time to do it when you work at the same time. Um, my hardest thing so far has been trying to find a model with mature skin. I mean I think my skin is in that's my zit right there. My skin is mature but I think they mean somebody like in the in their 50s or 60s or something somebody with some visible wrinkles that's kind of hard for me to do I will say that I have learned quite a bit from um, doing the lessons that I've done like the how to conceal how to cover imperfections <clears throat> excuse me um, how to coordinate colors they give you in unit B this nice color wheel so you know which colors coordinate with what, um, how to, to remove makeup, how to do the smoky eye, different stuff like that I have learned. Um, I think that as far as makeup artist education goes, to be honest with you, QC Makeup Academy gives you just the bare bones basics. You have to do a lot of um, other research I want to say and you have to do a lot of practice on your own to perfect which I guess that's true with any um, makeup school you do have to practice 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 until you can get it the you know the way you want it perfectly one second Bella just came in to the room <sighs> should put you on camera walking into the room anyway um so, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty good for that. But what I have done also is, I wish I could get my practice in, but it's kind of hard. I've purchased um, some makeup books on my own from Amazon.com. And I will say that the best one that I have had so far would be this one. And that's the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual. She sort of approaches it from the angle of the makeup artist like if you want to just do basic makeup you know just everyday makeup and you just want to know certain things she tells you that but for the new makeup artist she gives you so much information that is <clears throat> definitely needed to start working like what kind of brushes to use and just um different how to contour and just different stuff and i can't i haven't um pinpointed anything yet but like this developing and stocking the professional makeup kit she gives you stuff like that um some of the other books that i have purchased is one from robert jones that i like a lot the makeup makeovers which is this one and he gives you different faces and let's see if i can flip through the book for you he'll give you different faces and then he'll go step by step and I'm doing a bad job of showing you telling you how he created it so you can duplicate it yourself um this one I just got so I haven't had a chance to actually look through it and see what I like about it it seems to be a lot of uh, well it seems like he gives you step by step how to do these the makeovers too but it's from Scott Barnes and it's called about face and just to kind of flip through it a little bit He'll show you like he'll do this face and then on the, some, on the pages after it he'll show you how you can duplicate that same look. Um, I picked up one book called the Makeup Artist Handbook. And this one I found after leafing through it is more for like um, theater and character makeup. Like how to age your hand and different things like this. So if you are interested, if you're doing the master um, makeup program from QC, this is a good book to have also. 
Um, one of them that I have tabbed half to death would be makeup um, makeovers 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes. And this one is also from Robert Jones. Yeah, this one is from Robert Jones also. So he'll tell you how, if I can flip through, he'll tell you how to do a look on the same person. And he'll show you the 5 minute version, the 10 minute version, the 15 minute version, and the 20 minute version. So this is like one of the um, things where he'll show you how to um, recreate a look also. This one is, let's see what hers is. is hers, hers may be a 15 minute. And I lost my page. I'm not sure which chapter this is, but he'll take the same person and give you a 5, 10, and 15, and 20 minute look on each of them and then show you how to do it. And another thing that I have found to be very helpful for me is to, um, because you want to keep up with trends in makeup, is to subscribe to fashion magazines like InStyle Magazine. Um, so I have that one in paper, which they give you a free digital edition with it. I also have digital subscriptions to Glamour, Elle, and Allure Magazine. Allure being one of the best ones as far as makeup is concerned and then I think I think in style to be the the next one um and then the last thing that I would suggest is to subscribe to the makeup artist magazine which one year they're doing bi-monthly is $24.95 um but this is the one that I have I just have the one copy and you can choose either a character cover or a beauty cover it all just depends on what part of um, makeup art you're going through I mean you know you want to specialize and then it's just a, it's an ad for the eye mats but um yeah they have different articles on um stuff just this is just I like it because it's just what's the word I'm looking for exclusively for the makeup artist so this is your trade or you want it to be your trade so you want to subscribe to a trade magazine um that's pretty much it i will say um i have enjoyed what i have done so far with um qc makeup academy now it's just up to me pretty much to get those models done so i can submit my assignments because it's kind of irritating to me that i have all of these assignments sitting here waiting and that the only thing that i have to do is to do the makeup part of it and I can submit it and I can get the certificate. It doesn't really seem to take a long time to do. It's just finding the right time to get every, like the practical part of it done. But I've enjoyed it so far. It is, it's given me a good foundation to build on for, you know, the other things that I want to do. And that is it. I want to thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.